Hello YouTube, um, good morning uh, or go good afternoon, uh, my name is Dijan Korovic and today I will be call, uh, talking about um, uh, digital franchising um, and uh, which is one type of uh, multi-level marketing uh, uh, and I want to tackle uh, this particular objection by many customers which boils down to uh, is this some kind of a pyramid scheme or even worse is this a Ponzi scheme um, uh, multi-level marketing companies are very very different from um, Ponzi schemes main difference being that Ponzi schemes don't have a product uh, in Ponzi scheme guy would come to you and uh, tell you give me hundred dollars and uh, in a, I don't know 30 days I'll give you back two hundred dollars that's completely different ball of fish a ball of fish because here in MLM you act uh, in um sorry in um, um, Ponzi scheme you don't have a product it's just like money manipulation um, but uh, in a normal MLM company you could have any type of product from uh, skincare uh, savings for power savings for um, water uh, telecommunications uh, uh, financial services anything so uh, in, I, in my opinion uh, MLM companies are attracting unjustified uh, criticism which mostly comes from uh, negativity uh, of people who are criticizing uh, MLMs although they don't understand them uh, in principle in reality not in principle but in reality MLM companies are managed by Fre Federal Trade Commission or FTC you most likely heard of them uh, most MLM companies are between three and five years old some of them are even older than Google and Facebook so if most of companies M in MLM are uh, that old how comes that um, um, uh, public attorney is coming after them and shutting them down Okay, uh, it won't take uh, two or three months for a uh, uh, public attorney or FTC to hear about company who is uh, running Ponzi scheme and uh, breaking the law. Because for running a pyramid scheme, you go straight to a prison. So uh, obviously, this comp if these companies are surviving uh, that long uh, and uh, having so many uh, people's working in them, people are working in them, they cannot be uh, outside of the law so it's a just negativity which comes from people who have they some uh, some sort of hid hidden agenda or their own reasons but you know you couldn't listen spend whole life trying to prove everything to everybody so um, main I, I personally think that main source of confusion is that MLMs are not actually uh, be uh, industry uh, because they cover su such a large uh, diverse field uh, they are actually just a marketing method okay it's a marketing method b where a uh, commission is shared between many levels of people who are partners in the company uh, I'm saying deliberately partners or associates because they are not uh, employees of the company okay they are not being paid per hour they are paid per performance and uh, just as a cur cur curiosity, Donald Trump has two MLM companies. One is called uh, Amer American Communications Network, and you probably heard about they are selling uh, telephone sets, and uh, they used to sell telephone sets. I don't know what they are doing now. And another one, one is the Trump Network, which is, the, I think, in nutrition. Okay, so... With all that neg negativity, one must really explain a, a few things which uh, bring bad reputation to MLM uh, marketing model. Uh, first of all, it's uh, for uh, for example uh, people who join everything. Like people uh, hear about one MLM company, uh, work with it for one month, then they hear something about, uh, which is sort of like better and then they jump onto that next wagon and another one and another one and these pe people end up forming uh, the famous NFL club uh, no friends left 
because they just constantly pester uh, all their friends with this latest thing and that latest thing and so on. So um, then another bad thing uh, which uh, lurks some, somewhere in the shadows of L MLM industry are companies without real products, okay? And they are real uh, pyramid schemes. Uh, but they get cleaned out uh, by FTC and government. They are very quick to remove them and put these operators into prisons. So I if you go and do your own research and find that company has been uh, around for a couple of years, then definitely it's not a uh, um, pyramid scheme. Uh, another ba really bad thing is just like not so much something which uh, is ingrained into industry, but the way some salespeople choose to behave. Uh, they tend to misrepresent and oversell things. And you so I'm sure you heard about products that cure cancer or um, face creams that uh, take care of aging. They uh, could suppress all the signs of uh, aging, like wrinkles and so God knows what. So um, as well as uh, some people who are pushing um, MLM schemes as get-rich-quick schemes. If one thing, thing is certain in MLM is that it's lots of hard work and that you get uh, back what you put in. Uh, it, it takes lots of effort and lots of skill to actually um, become a millionaire. Okay. And just for uh, you future MLM millionaires, uh, I want to cover a few industries which are using uh, that uh, marketing uh, method. You, I'm sure you heard of uh, Excel, American Communications uh, uh, Network and FutureNet. They used to be uh, companies uh, who were selling different devices in it telecommunications. Uh, America, ACN, uh, American Communication Networks, they were selling uh, like um, uh, telephone sets um, with some complex dialing system and stuff and FutureNet uh, was uh, I think uh, uh, selling TV uh, desktop boxes on which you were able actually to use uh, an internet and, uh, and chat with people at the same time. Uh, that was a few years back. Problem with telecommunications, uh, things change so fast and products go uh, either uh, become obsolete or uh, prices reduced beyond uh, imaginable. So these business models uh, sim simply uh, did not s survive in, in te uh, technology area. But in other areas uh, where products have much more of longevity, MLM works for years and years. Uh, so for one example are utilities. Uh, there are lots of uh, uh, these companies offering you different ways to save on, uh, for example, uh, electricity or to save on uh, water and so on. Uh, or in uh, skin care, uh, there are companies uh, uh, you, if you are into skin care, uh, you most likely heard about uh, Young Blood and Arbonne, and there are quite lots of successful companies there. In a nutrition area, you have uh, actually the largest number of MLM companies. Uh, MLM uh, companies doing a debt marketing model, uh, like for example, Mway is one, uh, Shackley, I think, uh, and Melaluca, and Herbalaf. And these companies had been ra running for ages, and they have very successful products, and uh, customers are extremely happy to buy them. Uh, in spite of all the med uh, negativity produced by media, as well, uh, legal services. Uh, there are companies uh, which operate uh, and are very successful uh, in a legal services uh, space. Uh, like, for example, Legal Shield is one. Another one uh, I heard of is prepaid legal. I'm not exactly sure what they are doing, but uh, I think most likely it's some kind of uh, discounted legal services. And uh, the real giants and most successful MLM uh, uh, companies are like in a financial area, like Keller or Killer, Williams, 
15,000 uh, associates, it's a huge company. Uh, I think they operate in a um, uh, property uh, market, uh, market like their uh, estate agents or realtors. Uh, and as well, New York Life. Uh, New York Life has a uh, 1,200, uh, sorry, uh, 12,000, uh, not 1,200 associates, and uh, uh, their annual uh, revenue is 27 billion. They are a huge company. So you could see that all that negativity could not stop MLM uh, uh, industry uh, from flourishing and created, uh, creating its own uh, success stories. If you want to do uh, your own research um, further, uh, I could give you a, a tip that uh, there are lots of uh, uh, sex toy uh, companies. Uh, so in uh, MLM, uh, use MLM marketing methods. So there you you could start from uh, something which is a little bit more spicy than um, maybe legal services. And um, yeah, on that note, I would like to. Uh, uh, finish this video thank you for watching please uh, uh, share uh, subscribe and like and uh, I hope to see you in the next one uh, all the best bye